We have a surface low that's beginning to take shape over the Gulf of Mexico. We're calling it a Gulf low, a very slow moving system, and it's beginning to push in some heavy rain along our coastal areas this afternoon. So as we take a look at the live radar scan across our forecast area, anytime you see their brighter oranges, also the yellows here, that indicates where the heavy rain is located over the mouth of the river and seeing some light showers moving into southern Mississippi as well as Buras uh, this morning. So this will continue to uh, happen as we go through the rest of your afternoon. We'll see pockets of heavy rain in a few locations inland, but we are tracking scattered downpours uh, north of Cocodri and we're looking near Chauvin and it is a uh, pretty rainy over Leeville at the moment, seeing those light showers beginning to move in and then pockets of heavy rain moving over Raceland. The metro area is dry right now, but we will begin to see some rain move in later on this afternoon. So whatever you're doing, later on today, especially into tonight. Make sure you have that umbrella with you. As we take a look at the setup here, here's the water vapor imagery showing the flow of the atmosphere. So here is the surface low here, but higher in the atmosphere, there's actually actually an upper level low as well. You can see that counterclockwise spin here near us. So that's going to continue to push in that moisture slowly as we wrap up your Wednesday into early Thursday morning. Temperatures are not that bad. We're in the upper 60s and we're actually below average and because of the rain, it's going to keep things below average as we go through your afternoon. But the winds will remain in place out of the east between 15 to 25, even 30 miles per hour as we go through the afternoon. And we know this setup. Anytime we see easterly winds, that is going to cause some coastal flooding issues, especially along our east facing shorelines as we go through tonight and especially as we get closer to high tide. And because of that, we have a number of coastal flood alerts in effect. Areas that you see highlighted in that lime green, here's the coastal flood advisory. So just be advised that coastal flooding is possible. Possible. But our coastal flood warnings in effect for our east facing shorelines and also areas near Lake Pontchartrain where we can see tides above average between one to three feet near Lake Pontchartrain. And then we're looking at coastal areas and near St. Bernard, Plaquemines parishes between two to three feet as we go through today. And that can cause some issues along low lying areas. So your forecast temperatures remaining below average in the middle to upper 60s, plenty of clouds and the rain coverage will continue to go up as that surface low gets closer to us. Local X with forecast temperatures Temperatures climbing into the upper 60s in Slidell, Hammond, Picayune, upper 60s in Thibodeau. So timing things out as we get closer to the 4 5 o'clock hour, we'll begin to see heavy rain moving in. Again, this will be pretty scattered. Many spots will see light showers, especially along our North Shore areas. And we will see some uh, dry pockets as we go through tonight. Not a complete washout, but along our coastal areas, we will see the greatest impacts where heavy rain will be certainly possible. Terrebonne Parish, Lafouche parishes and even our river parishes as we get closer to midnight. Now tomorrow morning we're going to start off dry in many spots, but some areas could see heavy rain, especially in southern Mississippi as we go through your Thursday morning and then things improving as we go through your Thursday afternoon and things will begin to clear up. A few residual showers are possible as we go through your Thursday night. Now the rainfall potential again, the highest totals are expected really to be confined along our coastal areas between between three to five inches, the metro area and neighboring parishes between two to three inches through today and tomorrow, and then North Shore areas between one to two inches. And if you are heading out to the French Quarter Festival again, uh, starting on Thursday, bring an umbrella looking pretty dry on Friday. Temperatures will be in the lower 80s. It'll be windy and then more rain on the way as we go through your Saturday. And we definitely need the rain across the area. We are abnormally dry across the metro area and a few of our North Shore parishes, but then moderately dry along our coastal areas. So we definitely need the rain and we're actually below average for the month of April here. So here's a look at your seven day forecast, upper 60s, 80% coverage for showers and storms, pockets of heavy rain possible, windy. We're looking at a drier afternoon tomorrow, but expect some rain tomorrow morning, 72 and then lower 80s on Friday and more rain on the way on Saturday.